Hello, I'm the Budget Modder and this is episode 6 of my Meng 124th Fokker DR1 build. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. To begin this episode we're going to be spraying the cylinder heads with Alclad 119 Airframe Aluminium. In the bottle Alclad colours look fairly similar but once you spray it on you can't half see the difference. Anyway. Less of the waffle, it's time to crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on! There we go, that's looking pretty good. So, what next? Oh, I know, the seat back. Let's rectify that issue. That's the seat cleaned up nicely. Next, we're going to paint some of the wood detail in the office. So let's get that cracked, shall we? Now for some black. And next, the rigging lines, we're going to paint those silver. Finally, some detailing of the switches in silver. Now we've got those done, time for a bit of unmasking. Let's do the office floor. Now time for a wash. That's done, now I'm going to clear coat the seat support using Humbrol's gloss varnish. But I'm hairy sticking it. See if that makes a difference. You know how me and glosses get along. Not very well. That's the glossing done. Now for a bit of painting. I didn't gloss this part as I knew it needed painting. Now to put the office floor together. Wish me luck on this one. That's the office floor put together. That was a lot easier than I expected and quite a pleasure to do. Now for the exhausts on the engine. I'm using Alclad 123 exhaust manifold for this. Exhaust done, looking good so far. Hmm. Next, to get the tail cleaned up. Oh, and off the sprue first, obviously. I 
found that the sprue gates connecting the tail to the sprue had been damaged in transit. So I carefully sanded away the affected parts and used good old sprue glue to fill them in again. There we go, that's the tail sorted. We'll put that to one side and allow the sprue glue to set. Next, to get the top cowl off the sprue and cleaned up. Let's get it cracked, shall we? Next, this bracket that goes underneath the cowl. Now a hole needs drilling in the cowl. Here we go, quick little tip here. When drilling holes in plastic to get a nice smooth hole on both sides, try the following next time. Keep your finger pressed on the other side of the plastic that you're drilling from. And when you feel the bit push against your finger, stop and look for the white stress plastic, like this. Flip sides, press the bit into the stress plastic and finish the hole. This will give you a really nice neat hole. Now that's done, let's move on to the wing, shall we? Firstly, the mid-wing. There is various versions of this aircraft and here you need to do holes for certain versions in certain parts. As you know I'm doing Rudolf Klimt's aircraft version C so this is where mine go. One mid wing put together and clamped up. Pop that to one side to dry. Now we can carry on and stick the engine together. But first we need to fix an exhaust manifold that I broke off. So we'll do that first, then we'll put it all together. Thank you. 
that manifold is now fixed and the rocker arms and the exhaust are all glued together. Now we can snip the wire back on the block and get them all fitted together to make, hopefully, a completed engine. Let's crack on and get it done, shall we? One engine done. Adding those spark plug wires really takes it up to another level. I'm chuffed with that. I think it looks awesome. Anyway, now a bit of washing. No, not me. I had a shower this morning. The seats are poor. What are you lot like? Let's get it cracked. There we go, we've got the seat support done. Now for the office floor. And there we have the office floor done. Anywho, this seems like a good a place as any to end. Thank you for watching episode six. If you want to see what happens in episode seven, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modeling.